White House adviser and president's daughter Ivanka Trump may have violated the government ethics rule when she posted a photo of herself holding a can of black beans Tuesday night. If it's Goya, it has to be good, she captioned a photo, displaying the canned fry Joel's Vanna White style, adding in a translation, C.S. Goya, Teen Cuser Bueno. The post came in response to boycotts of the brand and social media outrage from consumers and some Hispanic leaders after the company's CEO Robert Amadou praised President Donald Trump in a Rose Garden event last week. We are all truly blessed to have a leader like President Trump who is a builder, Amadou said. We have an incredible builder, and we pray. We pray for our leadership, our president. Amadou repeated the remarks in a Friday interview telling Fox News he was not apologizing and calling the subsequent boycott movement suppression of speech. Later Wednesday, the president continued his efforts to promote the brand, posting a photo of himself alongside a slew of Goya products. Trump posed, smiling with his thumbs up, before beans, seasoning, coconut milk and chocolate wafers set on the historic Resolute desk in the Oval Office. Goya is the nation's largest Hispanic-owned company and is a privately held business. It remains unclear how calls to boycott have impacted business, but the president claimed in a Wednesday morning tweet that Goya is doing great. The radical left smear machine backfired. People are buying like crazy, Trump tweeted. But his daughter and West Wing advisor could have violated a federal ethics rule with her message. The United States Office of Government Ethics which is aimed at preventing conflicts of interest in the executive branch, has guidelines on endorsements. Executive branch employees may not use their government positions to suggest that the agency or any part of the executive branch endorses an organization including a non-profit organization, product, service, or person, the office's guideline says. A spokeswoman for Trump defended the post, which, she said, showed personal support for the brand slamming the media and the cancel culture movement. Ivanka is proud of this strong, Hispanic-owned business with deep roots in the U.S. and has every right to express her personal support, White House spokeswoman Carolina Hurley said in a statement. Former director of the Office of Government Ethics Walter Schwab says yes, the Goya tweet was an ethics violation. Schwab noted in a series of tweets Wednesday that despite the fact that both Trump's Twitter and Instagram accounts contain disclaimers that they are personal pages, it's a bad idea to include your title in the bio because that's a factor weighing in favor of finding a violation occurred. If, as Ivanka Trump does, you use an otherwise personal social media account to tout official activities of the administration, that's another factor. If you tout the company's product in an obvious response to the backlash the company is facing for the CEO's remarks about your father president, you knowingly link your account in people's minds to your official activities. You create the appearance of official sanction.